Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got a little bit of a battle that we're going to watch today. So we've got in one corner Celsius, which just hit its 52 week low. In the other corner we've got Coca-Cola and Pepsi forming a 50-50 team. Which one is the better buy? Which one's better for your portfolio? That's what we're talking about. All right, guys, so let's talk about Celsius first of all. Celsius has experienced rapid growth in the energy drink market, moving into a prove it phase. Now, Celsius, very popular, a lot of investors behind it, a lot of people telling me, dude, you gotta get in on Celsius. So the beverage in industry is traditionally difficult to disrupt. Few brands achieving global recognition enter Celsius, which has been able to pull it off. Let's look at just the top three key players in the energy drink industry. Number one, Red Bull, high and near of the energy drink market, holding the top position. Number two, right below them, is Monster Beverage, now the second largest player with stock up 18-fold over the last 15 years and a $47 billion valuation. Oh, and by the way, guys, Monster in a Monster Beverage, I have a position in that one. I love that company, so just FYI. Number three, Celsius, ranked third, 11.5% of the US energy drink sales, positioning itself as a rising challenger. Not a rising challenge, they've already beat all the small players. They're number three in the world, absolutely insane. Look at the rapid growth in the market position. Their market cap surpassed, guys, 20 billion dollars after expanding into Australia, New Zealand. Five years ago, this is insane, five years ago the company was valued at just over 200 million dollars. Investors are betting on Celsius as the next big brand in energy drinks. So a lot of hype behind this challenger, but there are some challenges. Look at the recent stock decline. The stock just hit its 52 week low after lowering their estimates for Pepsi's Q3 2023 orders uh, 100 to $120 million lower. So now why, why is that connected? I'm gonna show you, but their growth deceleration has gone from 100% annually to 23%, so big drop off in their growth. This is why Pepsi's involved with them. Uh, they signed a distribution agreement with Pepsi in 2022 providing a fast track for international expansion. So Pepsi actually owns 8.5% of Celsius, which enhances their distribution capabilities. Okay, so, and there's that weird connection there, but let's look at the other side of investing directly in Coca-Cola and Pepsi, like a 50-50 split, right? So they've got some distribution advantages. Coke, Pepsi, global supply chains, and they offer these unique advantages. For example, Coke just acquired Topo Chico in 2017 for $220 million. Okay, watch this, $220 million. Now it's likely a multi-billion dollar brand. Absolutely insane. But then Celsius also has a unique position because they're benefiting from Pepsi's network without being a full subsidiary, offering more direct growth opportunities just for, for investors. So there's a lot to like about both deals. Let's look at the valuation and the profitability of Celsius. They've had significant revenue growth and rising operating margins. Now they're highly profitable. Their current price to earnings PE ratio is at 31.5. That's only slightly higher than Coke, which is at 28.8, and Pepsi, which is at 26. But there are some risks. That the expansion of Celsius increases their operational costs, their vulnerabilities, the SG&A expenses, $417.6 million, are more than double its revenue from three years ago, highlighting, guys, the risks of rapid growth. And there's some concerns about Celsius's longevity. Is it a fad? Is it a staple? Celsius may just be in a fad phase. It hasn't proved itself as an energy drink staple yet. Their trailing PE ratio might not be sustainable, given potential for changing profitability. So the slowdown in growth post their Pepsi partnership 
might lead to margin and profitability declines, warranting some cautions. All right, so let's look again over at Coca-Cola and Pepsi and make a case for that as a safer investment. All right, look at Coke's focus. They're on beverages only, resulting in higher margins due to strategic partnerships in their distribution network. Pepsi offers diversification. They own Frito-Lay, they own Quaker Oats, a whole lot more, but they have lower margins due to direct distribution. So Coke and Pepsi together, it's, a, it's like they're offering pros and cons in different areas, so you're getting the pros on both sides. And they're both huge stability, they're, they're both huge dividend kings uh, with over 50 years of consecutive dividend raises. Look at Coke's dividend yield, 2.7%. Pepsi's yield is 3%. Both of them are higher than the S&P 500's average of 1.2%. Now, diversified portfolios allow Coke and Pepsi to take calculated risks on new products and acquisitions without destabilizing the company, which is not like Celsius. Celsius can't take those risks right now. Celsius can't just go and acquire a bunch of companies. Celsius doesn't have that luxury. Coke, Pepsi, they can do it. So let's put all this together, guys, and let me give you my final thoughts on whether you should buy in on Celsius, which is over here at its low, 52-week low, or whether you go with Coke and Pepsi, kind of a 50-50 split. Well, Celsius offers exciting growth, but the risks remain, especially as a relatively new entrant in the market. So investors remain cautious, Possibly adopt a wait and see approach before investing heavily in Celsius. Coke and Pepsi, a 50 50 split between these two established players, may offer more stability, predictable returns, making this a safer investor investment by far for risk adverse investors. So, if you don't want risk in your portfolio, don't look at Celsius. Just don't. Don't even think about it, right? Coke, Pepsi, that's the deal for you. If you love risk and you want the huge upside and you want to triple, quadruple your investment over the next year or two, Celsius may be able to pull that off. But they also may lose everything you have, right? That's the risk that Celsius has. So final investment considerations, Celsius. If you're confident in its future, my advice would be to, this may be an opportune time to maybe take a small position, maybe, right? Small position, don't, don't, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket, but Celsius is over here, maybe a small slice of Celsius, right? Coke and Pepsi offer though more secure options with a proven track record, diversified portfolios, and that makes them a strong choice for long-term investors. So which is better investment? Almost everyone's gonna say, Coke and Pepsi is the smart deal, right? Celsius, if you're feeling a little crazy. But guys, that's all for me today. I, I gotta add this too, guys. Um, personally, I don't own Celsius, I don't own Coke, I don't own Pepsi, none of these. My stock of choice is Monster, which isn't part of this discussion, it's just sitting on the sidelines for this one, right? But I love Monster stock. Um, it, go, go watch my videos on that. Absolutely love it. Subscribe to the channel, guys, because every week I post a video telling y'all what stock I am buying that week. Because I buy a stock, I buy a stock every single week. Make a video telling you why. Plus, I got all these fun videos where I'm just talking about the things that I'm seeing in the investment world. And absolutely love making these videos. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Celsius, about Coke and Pepsi, and I'll, I'm really curious to know what y'all's thoughts are. Anyway, guys, you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.